All right, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add in some words along the uh, coming out of her mouth. I want you to go to window and select paths right here. And you'll see that the path that we're going to place the word has already been created for us. I'll talk about how to create your own paths later on in uh, further lessons. But uh, basically, it just allows us to type words along that curved line. Click on speech path, please, in order to select it. And hit T for your horizontal uh, uh, type tool. Great. Click on the model layer, because we want to make sure that we're on that. And then click the right align button, which is up here. Good. So now what we're going to do is we're actually going to pick Myriad Pro Regular for our font. You might be there already. Myriad Pro Regular. And um, then the font style is regular. The font size will be 14. And well, I said font size regular. So let's pick that guy. And uh, the tracking is negative 10. So we are going to hover over top and you can see what each one of these guys is. That's leading it is set to auto. Tracking is negative 10. And there it is right there. The color is going to be white. So you click on color and select white. And I want this to be all caps, which you can actually select right here if you click on this button right there great now i want you to move the type tool that you've selected over the path right here and when the small slanted line appears across that eye bar then i want you to click the end of the path that's closest to the model's mouth and type what's new with games um, so we're going to, let me just zip on in here. There it is right there, closest to the model's mouth. And type, what's new with games? Awesome. Okay. Select the word games and change the font style to bold. So we're going to select games and change the font style to bold. Uh, that would be this guy right here. Now you'll notice it says full bold, actually. We're gonna be dealing with that in a little bit. Okay, and then I want you to commit anything that you've done, which is this check mark right here. I'm actually gonna turn on the background and so that way you can see a little bit better what it is that we've done. And that's kind of neat. Hey, that looks, that looks pretty good. Now we'll go over here to the Layers tab and right-click on What's New with Games layer. And I want you to duplicate it. So pick Duplicate Layer. And, say, and we're going to change the name to, uh, say, Music. Awesome. Great. All right, now you don't actually see that you've got an extra one there because they're on top of each other. So um, what we're going to do is I want you to highlight the word games and change it to music. Ah, now you can see that something has changed in there, can't you? We'll commit that by clicking on the on the check mark or the enter key now we're going to transform this we're going to we're going to rotate it 15 degrees but you're going to need to make sure that you do uh to do it that you do it properly click on over here on what's new with music okay and uh at the moment you're in the text tool and i want you to um I want you to transform this by going Command T, okay, or Control T on Windows, 
and over here I want to rotate this by going 15 degrees just typing in 15 and you'll see that it has changed and so what we're going to do is we commit that by clicking on the check mark see how it's changed but if you just grab it right now and move it then it's going to move the path and we don't want that we want to we want to use the move tool v for move tool and we grab this guy what's new with music and we have it coming out of her mouth now i have noticed that i've made a mistake and it's the question mark on the end so i'm going to hit the t for the uh for the uh, text tool and I'm going to go on the very end of this, and it's a little hard to see actually, so I'm going to use my arrows. I'm going to go question mark, and then I'm going to click the check mark, and then click in here. Use my arrows to go to the end and put in my check my question mark again. Super. Commit that by hitting enter or the check mark. Okay. Now you're going to repeat the steps, uh, replacing the word games with phones. So we're going to go over here and duplicate. And duplicate the layer. And I'm going to change this to phones. And then we're going to highlight the word games change that to phones maybe I'll leave in the question mark this time okay phones awesome hit the check mark and now command T to rotate it and this time I want you to rotate it negative 15 negative 15 it's gonna turn it that way and commit it by clicking on the check mark move tool and uh, we're gonna grab phones and move it down here if you're having trouble grabbing it make sure that your auto select is turned off all right super save what you got so far